guys and welcome back to the family fudge and welcome to part two of my what to buy at Trader Joe's series. Last time I shared my top five frozen food items and today I'm talking about sweet treats. So stay tuned. Okay guys, now before we get started, if you're not familiar with Trader Joe's, like I said in my last video, it's a chain of grocery stores started in Southern California. And they specialize in non-GMO, a lot of organic foods, and they make a lot of their own stuff, so the store brand. So you can get a really good price when you shop there as well. Now they do have a lot of healthy foods there, but they also have a lot of sweet treats, and I'm talking a lot. So today I'm just gonna share with you my top five. And it was kind of hard to narrow it down. And remember, these are sweet treats. Everything is fine in moderation, right? Okay guys, now these are definitely my top five sweet treats, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you my absolute most favorite thing last. In the number five spot, I have the Crunchy Cinnamon Squares Cereal. Now this is pretty much just like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And honestly, I don't think that because they're from Trader Joe's that they're any healthier at all. They're definitely full of sugar, which makes it a sweet treat, if you ask me. These crunchy squares are a mixture of whole wheat and rice, and each one has a little sprinkling of cinnamon and sugar. They are really good for breakfast or even dessert or a midnight snack, but who's judging, right? This is definitely one of my kids' favorite as well, although we try not to get it too often. This cereal was $2.99. Next up, I have another breakfast item. These are the toasted coconut pancakes. Well, it's actually a pancake mix, and they actually have a wide variety of mixes, like muffin mixes, scone mixes, pancake mixes of all different kinds, and they're all really good, but I happen to be a big fan of the coconut one. So unlike your regular pancake mix, this one actually includes crunchy pieces of toasted coconut. And I really love that it's so easy, you just have to add water. Great for those mornings where you don't have a lot of time. This pancake mix is $3.69. Next up, I have some ice cream. Trader Joe's has a lot of different varieties of ice cream, but I really like the Speculoos cookie butter version. Now, if you've never had a cookie butter, it tastes a lot like gingerbread cookies but sweeter, not so sharp on the ginger flavor. Speculoos at Trader Joe's is actually really popular and they put it in a lot of different items like cookies, they have a spreadable version. Now to be honest with you, the ice cream at Trader Joe's is a little pricey, but not if you compare it to brands like Ben & Jerry's or Haagen-Dazs. This one pipe size was $4.99. Next up, I have some chocolate and you can probably tell I've already gotten into these. Now Trader Joe's has a huge variety of chocolates in little containers like this, like everything you could think of. They have nuts, fruit, but I really like the chocolate coconut almond. So think about like an Almond Joy type candy and that's what this tastes like. These would be perfect for sneaking into a movie and sharing with your significant other. They're really good. And now for my number one most favorite sweet treat from Trader Joe's. And you might be surprised because it's just a vanilla sandwich cookie. I know that seems pretty basic, but hear me out. These are definitely way better than a vanilla Oreo. Now at Trader Joe's, you can actually get several different flavors of the JoJo's. You can get the regular chocolate. I've even seen a coffee flavored one a green tea flavored one, and at Christmas time they have a candy cane flavored one. Oh, and they also have a gluten-free one as well. But my favorite are definitely these vanilla ones. And what makes these better than Oreos is that it's made with real vanilla bean speckles. So if you open up the cookie, you could actually see all the pieces of real vanilla, and that really makes a big difference. And I also taste a little bit of salt in there and sort of a brown butter flavor, so it's a sweet and salty with a little bit of a caramel flavor as well. They are so good. A serving size is only two cookies and it's 130 calories. So it's important for me to have self-control when we have these in the house. 
Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Now let me know in the comments down below if you have a favorite sweet treat from Trader Joe's. Let me know what it is because I'd love to try it on my next trip. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.